Hello and welcome to the FileHold video tour series. My name is Kevin and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking to you about a user area called My FileHold. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to log into the desktop application. And you can do that by clicking on this icon here. You can right click this little stack of papers here to go in. You could have the system automatically log you in in the morning when you boot into your computer. You could have Active Directory bring you here. But eventually you'll end up here. This is the main screen of the desktop application. If you look over here to the left, you'll find the My File Hold section. And if we expand this out, you'll find some areas just below it. The first one we'll talk about is My Favorites. So to start that, I'm going to actually do a search for a document. We're going to type in Policy. And we've now gone across the entire system and brought back results. I want to store one of these documents as a favorite because I go to it often. Maybe it's a price list. Maybe it is boilerplate or contract language that I use all the time. So what I'm going to do is click on a couple of these documents and you'll see that they've now turned yellow. Some of these are white, some of these are yellow. If you go to the favorite section now, you'll see these documents have been added to a queue. So this is now kind of a holding tank for quick access to documents that you need to refer to often. Now the best part about this is these are not copies. They still live in their home location. They're still under the audit trail. They're still under control. We can still see the version history and usage. However, you've got quick access to them. If you double click on one of these, it opens up in the native application as though it was the original because it is the original. It's actually pointing to the home location where it lives. Now, just the opposite is true. If I go in and turn off these yellow stars, let's do a couple here. When I go back into that area, you'll now see that the list is a bit shorter. So this is really useful for quick access. And at the same time, you're not doubling up files or you're not dealing with things where you're not sure what the latest copy is. You've got quick access here from My Favorites. Okay. Now, just below My Favorites, we have a checked out documents area. And you can even see some of that going on here in your favorite section. This mileage voucher has a red dot next to it, indicating I have limited security rights at the moment. And you also have a column letting you know that it's been checked out. What that means is, is this document is locked and now under control until this person releases it and puts it back. So if I go into this folder here, you can see all the documents that I've checked out. I have the ability to come in here and double click on a file and begin working on it. So we can see this file open up in Word here. Okay. But if, if I decide that I want to check it back in, I can do so from Word. Maybe I want to work on it later. Maybe I'm going to lunch. I can hit check in later and not deal with it. Or maybe I can come in here and hit this button and a box will pop up and I've got some options here. I can indicate that I didn't get a chance to change it, which is true. And I would click that box. It would still audit down that I had taken it, but it would also put it back without changes. And also do things like notify people that it's back. Maybe delete the local copy off of the desktop so we don't have to wonder if it's in two places. And maybe prompt me to put in a stage or a metadata field or some notes letting you know what I've changed or what I haven't changed. So this is a useful area. This is where you will carve out things that you're responsible for and working on, and you'll be able to release documents from this area anytime you need to. Okay, so moving on, we now get down to document alerts. This factory acceptance document is really important to me. It's a project that I'm working on, and I really care about people who are checking this document out as the version is progressing, if edits or changes, or, or if it's deleted, I need to know. So I can actually set alerts on files, letting me know if somebody behaves in this file or does something with this file that I need to know. And I can be notified immediately when this happens, once a day or once a week. And I also have the ability to subscribe to individual folders in the same way. So if I go down to a specific file and I right click it, I can say alert me of changes. And it may be hard to see in this video, but there's a little icon letting you know that you'll now be notified at whatever frequency you chose if new content comes into this folder or something is removed from it. So it's a way to gain visibility from a content level, from a folder level, and then also the actual file itself. And you can see that here. Okay, moving further down, we can also set reminders on th things. I've got a time card here. And if I wanna get paid on Friday, I need to have my time card submitted by Thursday. Now I get pretty busy, so I wanna make sure that this gets handled every single week. So. If I hit manage my reminders here, I can see that I've set up a rule for time cards. They're going to tell me every week that this needs to be taken care of. I have a drop down list that says I can set it once into the future. That's pretty useful if you're updating policies. 
um, every two years, let's say, or maybe annually, you want to review something, or twice a year, quarterly, monthly, you can set the frequency of how you would like that to be sent to you. It can email you notifications, and it also can send you calendar notifications that have said every Thursday you want to get your time card done. If I double click on one of these nodes, it'll bring you right to the area that you want to deal with. Of course, if you double click on the time card, you can be looking right at it. Okay. All right, anything you've recently looked at will be in this queue. And this is very useful. So when you go to lunch and you come back and maybe you were working on a customer file or maybe you were dealing with some things, you don't have to start your search over. You don't have to make copies of it. You can simply come back to this area and see anything that you've looked at recently. And you can sort by action date and, and, and set up columns the way you want to. But this is useful. This will clean itself up over, uh, clean itself up over time. Um, and just below that, you've got a similar concept. I've got recently added files. So if I did a bunch of scanning in the morning, and maybe I'm going to work those scan files, they'll be in the queue here. Now, I haven't added any documents recently, so this is empty. But just like before, it will clean itself up over time as you bring new content in here. So very useful, these areas, uh, for when you come back from uh, lunch or, or maybe tomorrow in the morning, you want to address everything that you've just brought in. This is a good place to do that. Now you've also see, already seen a peak of the calendar, but if I click on that, uh, the calendar is actually going to tell you uh, any reminders that you have, any retention or disposition events. So if you set up an archival so that says every two years something's going to go to archive, stay there for 20 years and then be deleted, some of you will be notified in the calendar area of that. Any workflows that you have will be notified here in the calendar as well overdue tasks and so on will all come find you in this area. It's, it's very, very useful. And again, if you just click on one of these nodes, it'll take you to the file that you're interested in dealing with. Okay. The last one is the dashboard. The dashboard is really for your system administrators to come in and be able to very quickly access information that may be important. For example, if I'm updating a new license file and Filehold has sent me a, a new user account, I can click on this box and in this tile, it will take me to the appropriate area in admin for me to add my new license file into the system. So we'll let that log into the server here, authenticate me. And now you can see how many licenses we have, what features are enabled or not. Here you can request a license, install a new license file that we've given you, or maybe add or buy more courier licenses from this section. So th these tiles are really useful. If I want to see how full the repository is getting, if I click on that, it takes me to the appropriate area that tells me the storage repository location how much free space we have, what the total capacity is. Okay, You can also see how many sessions are in at the moment. We can come in here and look at a user count, see what rights they have, if they have guaranteed access or not. So it, again, it's just a useful area. You can get to these places other ways, going through administration, but this is a nice convenient location to find everything that you're looking for uh, from an admin point of view. And that summarizes the My File Hold section of File Hold. It's a very simple place to go, uh, very user friendly, and it's a way to get quick access to things that you deal with on the day to day. Thank you for watching our Filehold video tour series. For more information about Filehold, visit our website at www.filehold.com uh, or reach out to us at sales at filehold.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you.